Hey, what's up, family? This is Contemplate Boxing. Now, as many are now aware, the World Boxing Association have downgraded the status of eight division champion and living legend Manny Pacquiao from super champion to champion in recess. Now, in this process, they have lifted Jordanus Ugas from regular champion into Pacquiao's former position of super champion. This move comes in light of Manny Pacquiao's stretch of inactivity following his 12-round decision against former champion Keith Thurman, which occurred in July 2019. Since that time, Manny has failed to make a single defense of his hard-won title. Now, for his part, Ugas has had difficulty securing the bouts that he truly desires in the welterweight division. His first world title attempt ended in a split decision loss to then WBC champion Sean Porter. Now, many fans, however, did believe that Ugas did more than enough to deserve the nod. Since then, despite being one of the top talents in the division, Ugas has continued to be thought of as a fighter who carried many risks disproportionate to the level of possible reward. In spite of this consensus opinion shared of him among his peers, Ugas spent some time expressing interest in facing champions Errol Spence Jr. and Terence Crawford. At the time, neither fighter shared Ugas' interest, it seemed. For example, in 2018, after defeating his mandatory Carlos Ocampo, Errol Spence stated of Ugas that while he was a good fighter and they would have to meet, Eventually, due to his IBF ranking, he was then only interested in facing big names and former champions, and that was if he couldn't secure a bout against another champion. For Crawford, in spite of sharing the same issue as Ugas in securing big fights in the division, his attention did appear to remain focused solely on everyone aside from Ugas also chasing the big names. Now, however, with the WBA establishing Ugas as their welterweight champion, Ugas very well may get what he's desired for so long. At this point, the likely next fight is a matchup between unified WBC and IBF champion Errol Spence Jr. and WBA champion Yordanus Ugas. This bout would bring the division's fractured undisputed crown nearly to completion with only one piece missing. At this juncture, I can't help but feel that WBO champion Terence Crawford has likely missed out by being unable to secure the bout against Jordanus Ugas previously. Now, this is just a personal opinion, but I do believe that if Terence Crawford had been able to secure the bout with Jordanus Ugas, and gain a victory over the avoided Cuban, he very possibly could have been holding the WBO and perhaps the WBA title by now, because previously Jordanus Ugas did fight in a bout for the vacant WBA regular title. Had they both fought one another, then both the WBA regular and WBO titles likely would have been on the line. Had Terence Crawford defeated Jordanus Ugas, then he possibly could have been the one listed as the WBA regular champion and uplifted into the status of super champion once Manny Pacquiao was restatused as champion in recess. Now this, of course, is a personal opinion and there is likely much information that I am missing. But while there are many who gain greatly from the WBA's recent move in the division, such as Ugas, Spence, and of course, fans of the division as a whole, I do believe that the one to lose out the most very well may be Terrence Crawford. Fight family, let me know what you think. Was there more that Terrence Crawford probably could have done or should have done to secure the fight with Jordanus Ugas previously? Uh, who do you think will win between Errol Spence Jr. and Jordanus Ugas should this fight actually come to a head? Fight family, let me know what you think. Hey, y'all take it easy. God bless. Peace.